Let's talk Tanya for the first of other. Yesterday, we uh, concluded our discussion about Mivachan, like crushing the ego, but using a specific method. And the method is um, contemplating one's own lowliness. Today, we are going to continue on the topic of Mivachan, of crushing the ego, but using a different method. And today, is Tanya Daltarebbe says that a way to crush one's ego is by screaming at the animal soul. Now, screaming doesn't mean literally. You don't have to uh, go into some uh, secluded room and start screaming at yourself. It could be screaming in one's mind. But the idea is to get angry, to get angry at the animal soul and to uh, dress it down. In the words of the Alter Rebbe, he says to scream at it and say, You are evil, you're vile, you're despicable, you're disgusting. How dare you? How dare you lie to me? How dare you distort the truth? The truth is that God is everywhere. The truth is that God is everything. And how dare you come along and hide that truth, conceal that truth? Now, this, um, this method of mivachinle, of crushing the ego, is very different than the one we've spoken about in the past days in two ways. Number one, um, the first way of breaking the ego is a more of a cold and calculated uh, path. You sit down, you have a cup of coffee, and you start thinking, and you think very logically um, about yourself and about how lowly you are because your default self is your natural soul, and perhaps also you think about different mistakes that you've done in the past. So it is a very intellectual way of, uh, of dressing oneself down. As opposed to the path that we're talking about right now, the screaming path is one of intimidation, just very simply. Um, if someone were to explain to you very logically something about how you're inferior in a certain way, um, you would feel crushed by that. You'd feel broken by that. Another way is when someone goes and just screams at you, it doesn't make a difference if what the person is saying is true or untrue, whether you respect the person. It's not about the logical arguments the person is bringing. It's a, it's a path of screaming and intimidation. And this is what we're going for in this second path. Another difference is that what we're speaking about up until now, in the last days, was one of internalization, meaning I am talking to myself and telling myself how lowly I am. When I'm screaming at the animal soul, by definition, I'm externalizing the animal soul. It's not me. I'm screaming at you, animal soul. How dare you lie to me and conceal the truth from me? So this is another path, the path, again, of screaming and intimidation. Does it work? It does. Why does it work so well? What is the philosophy over here? What is the dynamic that's uh, playing out over here, and why does it work so well? That will be discussion, God willing, in tomorrow's Let's Talk Tanya.